surrounded by wrestling fans. Not, not sports entertainment fans. Professional wrestling fans. Professional wrestling. This is it. This is us standing up. This is the Wrestling Man's Podcast. A podcast that stands up for professional wrestling. Why? Because wrestling matters. So join the revolution. Because the revolution is now. Hey, start the show. World, look into my eyes. When you see me on a show, when you see these fans, you know you've got the best in the damn world. We are ICW and you're going to know our name. Here we, here we, here we fucking go. Well, enough is enough and it's time for a change. Professional wrestling, this is it. This is us standing up. Yes, 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 yes. Dina, I am the best in the world. Cause that's the bottom line. Cause Stone Cold Simpson. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to another installment of the ICW Podcast. That's right. ICW Podcast. Today, thank you so much for tuning in to watch. Hope you've enjoyed the previous episodes and hope you've enjoyed what is, or hope you're going to enjoy what's about to come. Now, I've told you yesterday on the podcast, the Wrestling Matters Podcast, that uh, there was the schedule for the ICW Podcast from now leading through to August. It is now July 6th. It's going to lead around to at least the beginning of August, August 11th time. And for those of you that don't know, the schedule is this. Today, you're going to get Fringe Night 1, Get Mendoza. You're going to get that today, review. You're going to get number two next week on the 14th. On the 21st, you're going to get Shug's Hoose Party 1, review. You're going to get the week after that on the 28th, you're going to get number three. Week after that, you're going to get number four. And then the week after that on August 11th, you're going to get Dave's Not Here Man from uh, August of 2013, which had Grado versus uh, Cole Cabana 1. Speaking of Grado versus Cole Cabana, you're going to get number two today. Uh, more on that later on. But uh, this is Fringe Night one get Mendoza August 3rd 2014 and uh, it kicked off with a heavyweight championship number one contenders match that's right kid fight Norm Da Darkseid and Joe Coffey now Joe and Darkseid go toe to toe which ends up outside they still fight with Joe getting the advantage Da and Kid fight lock up in the ring Darkseid takes advantage of Joe Joe fights back that, that was on the outside chain wrestling in the ring between Da and Kid fight dropkick gets Da the advantage Kid fight looks for the teabag move that he d- does or used to do now now he's in the 55 but both men lock each other in a testicular claw you can imagine how that felt coffee and dark side jump down fight then go at it sweet arm drag by dark side on dark side by kid uh, dark side hits a heel kick then joe hits the discus clothesline kid fight gets eliminated and da has the advantage on uh, coffee and dark side two drop kicks for each dark side and coffee then well one each then a brain buster on coffee gets him a near fall that's dumb da that is then locks a leg lock on coffee and an ankle lock on dark side dark side hits gts but when a kick but with a kick and da is out joe down to coffee and dark side dark side hits a german suplex on coffee and gets a near fall snap man knee drop gets dark side a near fall coffee hits three splashes then a chop then gets a swing on dark side then locks in the No Mercy Boston Crab. Red Fruit distracts Coffee. Dark Side hits a low blow, then chokes out Coffee, and Dark Side wins. Red Fruit rubs it in the face of Coffee and pisses Joe off, quite frankly. Chris then gives it gets in the ring, gives the history lesson on creating revolution called ICW and drops a pipe bomb which actually won him a uh, mic talking in the awards of 2014 this actually this promo that he did you might want to go and check it out get Mendoza check it out this promo that he did actually won him an award um, at the end of the the end of the year awards uh, like I said drops a pipe bomb on the whole company company and challenges anyone to step up Wolfgang music hits but Renfrew was pulling one over on the fans still waiting on the challenge 
challenge, then Stevie Boy comes out with Kelly Ray. Red Fru says they have other problems, and out comes Carmel and Liam Thompson. Carmel has a go at uh, Kelly Ray. Wow, did I just go not Geordie there? Has a go. Sorry to all any Newcastle people watching there or listening. And just shoots like if she is the female CN Punk and says she owns it and gets cut off twice and challenges Bucky's to a match and Kelly Ray and Stevie Boy just dive on them. Fight is a brawl to start Stevie Boy and Liam, Kelly Ray and Carmel fight in the crowd and at the bar area. Kelly dives on Carmel off the bar. Carmel suplexes Kelly three times, gets near fall. Stevie Boy kicks Liam in the chest on the outside. Carmel dives on Liam and Stevie Boy after being pushed by Kelly Ray and then Kelly Ray dives on all three. Kelly Ray with the advantage hits a springboard heel kick and gets a near fall. Hurricane Rana off Inseguri send Carmel outside. Liam grabs Kelly Ray then gets slapped and Stevie Boy unloads on him. Liam in control of his team, for his team rather. Double team on Stevie Boy. Power slam leg drop gets Liam a near fall. Stevie Boy in trouble. Stevie Boy fights back to no avail. Nice back suplex leg drop move gets Liam a near fall. Liam gets a near fall, slows down Stevie Boy. Stevie Boy creates space to tag in Kelly Ray and she hits a double drop kick off the top rope. Fight back on also Carmel and Liam have a miscue. Drop kick, super kick, stop Liam from hitting power driver on Kelly Ray. Carmel hits a DDT and gets a near fall. Kelly hits the gory bomb, misses a swanton. Kelly takes the back cracker. Liam hits the back cracker on Stevie Boy, gets a near fall. Miscue with Liam and Carmel. Kelly hits a gory cutter, which is a gory bomb. She gets uh, Liam in the gory bomb. She does the gory bomb move, and then Stevie Boy just comes running in and does the cutter, uh, which is a diamond cutter or rocky or whatever you want to call it. And they get the victory on Liam and Carmel. DCT, however, comes out after the match, just as he's about to get ready for another match or whatever. DCT comes out and says he should be the face of ICW. Yeah, this didn't go well with Jack Jester, because his music hits and he comes out and gives him a match for the ICW title. title. And this was just one-sided, ladies and gentlemen, because, let's just say this, DCT got his ass kicked. Jack kicks DCT between the legs and then kicks him in the face and unloads on DCT. Jack destroying DCT. Jack whips DCT with his belt, not the world title belt, uh, the ICW title belt, his own belt that he wore to keep his trousers up. Jack wasn't in his ring gear in this match, by the way. Jack camel clutches DCT, but chokes him with the belt. Normally, you would have your hands in front of the jaw area, but he decided to use his belt. Jack ends it with a tombstone and wins the match, and then just walks out, walks away from the uh, from the company, and well, well, walks away from the company, just walks out of the show and takes his belt and goes home. And I'll end that part there, ladies and gentlemen. I'll have a quick break, and then I'll be back right after this with part two. So stay tuned. They say this is wrestling, but ladies and gentlemen, this is Progress Wrestling. And on July the 1st, Progress Wrestling comes to the Wrestling Matters Podcast. That's right, Wednesday, July the 1st, I will present a podcast on Progress Wrestling. Starting with Chapter 1, and from every week onwards, I will bring you every single show from that. ProgressWrestling.com, Progress Wrestling on demand service. Progress Wrestling comes to the Wrestling Matters Podcast, July the 1st, only on SoundCloud. Stitcher Radio, YouTube, and OSW TV. Wrestling Mads, wrestling fans. Be sure to tune in every single Tuesday now for the Wrestling Mads Podcast Extra, where I'll be hosting a podcast on one promotion and one promotion only. I see. W Insane Championship Wrestling, the hottest promotion in Scotland. Well, I'll be reviewing their shows. Oh, oh my God! God! Talking ICW. That's 1314. And who knows? Maybe getting some guests on. So be sure to tune in to the Wrestling Matters Podcast Extra ICW Podcast, Insane Championship Wrestling, every Tuesday on YouTube, Podomatic, Stitcher Radio, downloaded free at iTunes. Mixed Cloud and SoundCloud. Wrestling matters, wrestling fans. World, look into my eyes. 
When you see me on a show, when you see these fans, you know you've got the best in the damn world. We are ICW and you're gonna know our name. Here we, here we, here we fucking go! Be sure to listen to the Sunday Segway Wrestling Podcast. What? What? Every Sunday with Kenny Killer and the Gowden Sugar Shoes. Yes! Yes! With all the news, views, and laughter that you want. They like jet airplanes. Woo! They like long limousines. Every Sunday, the Sunday Segway Wrestling Podcast on Podomatic, iTunes, and YouTube. So why don't you choke on that, slap nut? Oh, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to part two of this ICW podcast. Hope you've enjoyed it so far. So far, so good for me. Uh, part two of Fight Night or Fringe Night One. Uh, get Mendoza. Fuck, now these names. Oh my god. Anyway, we'll kick off night two. Get Mendoza with, uh, I believe, was uh, Michael Dante and uh, Dickie Davis. So, uh, without further ado, we'll get right into it. Right, just get myself up here. There we are. Michael Dante and Dickie Divers. Right off the get-go, Dante Spears Divers gets a near fall. Dante taking the fight to Divers outside. Divers rocks Dante with an inseguri, which is where he gets him in the... Uh, he, st- he stands in the crowd and he, he's on the barricade and he just goes boom, boom, and then hits him with the inseguri, despite the fact he, he had to tell the crowd to move out the way, which was hilarious. Dante, with power advantage, gets a near fall off clothesline. Dante toying with Divers. Power slams gets an- him and gets another near fall. Dante gets a near fall in total control. Divers kick to the gut, head kick, kick to the gut, then the head, drop kick to the back, gets a near fall. Dante hits a powerful clothesline, gets a near fall. Drop kick, Beal, suplex, neck breaker, air uh, combo, gets a near fall uh, for Dante. Divers hits a double leg hook code breaker, gets a near fall. Small package gets Divers a near fall. Dante hits a spear and gets the win. A lot of mouthful in that one. Now, ba- BT Gun and Tommy Yen, because after that, Tommy Yen came walking out and BT Gun went one on one with Tommy Yen. Feeling our process to start off, uh, slow start. BT gets two roll ups. Hits a sunset flip and gets near falls out of them. Then kick, and then takes a kick from Tommy End. Uppercut suplex combo gets a near fall for Tommy End. Tommy End just delivers th- and starts throwing kicks. Ending end working on the ribs area of BT. Fight back and does not work for BT Gun. End gets quick near falls. Hard power slam by End. Both men throwing kicks. End got the advantage of it and gets a near fall. BT throws two chops, then takes a knee to the face, gets a near fall. For End gets a near fall out of it, End misses a double storm, and then BT hits a chop, then takes a forearm to the jaw, and End gets a near fall. Fireman's carry into a face buster, then a super kick gets BT a near fall. BT locks us on a single crab, single leg crab. End double storm gets a near fall, and End small package gets a near fall. BT then hits a fireman's carry into a face buster. BT gets the win out of it, which is like a F5 kind of move, in case you don't know, but he just takes a face, bu- the opponent takes a face bump between the legs area but he's like sitting down kind of thing which is pretty awesome and it worked for BT because he got the win now for the main event of the evening which was Cole Cabana and Grado 2 first one was at uh, Dave's Not Here Man which you will hear me review that August 11th now both men start airplane spinning Grado Colt Cabana turn it into Rock versus Hogan handshake tug of war advantage Colt they were just pulling each other and it, they shook hands and started pulling each other in and out in and out kind of thing it was hilarious crowd chant say you're sorry and then Colt says he's sorry and then kisses kisses the ref Grado does a DX chop tells Colt to suck it like you know the DX members crowd members in the front row girls chant suck his dick Colt Grado were like what the fuck tie up turns into hair pulling Grado gets the worst ch- d- hits the worst chop ever Colt shows how it's done and then struts and he did it again and again and again Grado goes for a third attempt at it but ends up poking Colt in the eye Grado goes Ric Flair on Colt slams 
slams him, goes Ric Flair, Colt slams him, Colt locks in the figure for four, Grado gets rope break, Colt declares a dance off and what? And both men walk out, Grado comes back dressed as Colt Cabana and actually does a good impression of him, Colt comes out dressed as Grado, music and all, and does a great impression of him, Grado at times is like what the fuck, Grado wins the dance off, Colt seems angry, chain wrestling, Grado does, does it in a way Grado in a weird position, Colt roll up gets a near fall, Colt stops Grado from doing from going through his legs. Grado lays him out with a right hand and gets a near fall out of it. Grado sets up for the rolling slice but misses. Colt goes dusty on Grado and gets a near fall. Grado hits the rock bottom and gets a near fall. Grado splashes Colt then goes up for the Undertaker old school move but then Colt grabs him and then hits the GTS on him or away to your bed as he calls it and Colt beats Grado, Grado and gets even because well you'll find out August 11th or if you've seen it already you already you know, Grado won the first match. Colt celebrates in the ring, and then the NAK come down and jump Colt, Cabana, and Grado. Grado and Colt challenge NAK for the tag titles. NAK deny that offer, but Mark Dallas comes out and makes the match for next week's po- show, Fringe Night 2, which is on next week's podcast. Uh, NAK. Chris Renfrew, Billy BT Gunn faces Colt Cabana and Grado for the tag team titles. So basically it's NAK facing the team known as Iron Jew. And the NAK were not happy about it. So I enjoyed that. Four out of five for it. Uh, and yeah, it was on to next to the next show for uh, number two. And that will be reviewed next week. So until then guys, thank you so much for uh, listening to the podcast presented by Wrestling Matters, of course, yours truly, the HD at the end of the day. Do not forget, do not forget to uh, listen out and look out for the Fear and Loathing Month in November of the ICW podcast as well. And all that starts November 3rd. But until then, ladies and gentlemen, tune in next time for another podcast. My name is Anthony Walker. Peace out. Well, enough is enough, and it's time for a change. Professional wrestling, this is it. This is us standing up. Yes, 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 yes. That's 1314. I'm making that. Dina, I am the best in the world. Because that's the bottom line. If you like the Wrestling Matters Podcast, why not check out the Wrestling Matters Podcast Facebook fan page at www.facebook.com forward slash WM Podcast. Wrestling Matters, wrestling fans.